Good evening everyone, uh, this is uh, Gavin Yule from EverydayLinuxUser.com and Linux.about.com uh, Tonight I'm going to give you a review of Sodus OS which is a new Linux distribution it has a new uh, desktop environment called Budgie uh, which aims to stay out of your way and let you get on with your business Right, so without further ado, let's have a quick look around and see what there is Right, so at the top, panel nothing new there in the top left hand corner we have three icons and on the right we have the series of system type icons if you click on the leftmost icon a menu appears it's a fairly clean looking menu pops out quite nicely and as you can see um, you can pick on your categories and choose what you want or you can search for it in using this um, search bar at the top of the uh, menu the next icon on the list that brings up your software package manager uh, you can either click on the categories and search or you can search for the thing you want um, so for instance we can search for Firefox and it will bring up everything to do with Firefox or that's the plan anyway you can also use this to update your system if it needs updating in the top right hand corner you have system icons for um, notifications um, That's how to connect to the internet there you just select the network you wish uh, there's power settings there's audio settings and there's the on and off switch basically when you click on any of the icons on the right hand side you'll get this window pop up and you can look at the applets uh, which gives you a clock your speaker settings stuff like that and on the right hand side there's notifications which tells you um, as you can see my laptop battery was incredibly low and I had to plug it in so that's that uh, the notification window I find a bit of a pain to get rid of it doesn't always disappear to the right like it's supposed to do um, you can bring up um, the menu by pressing the super key which is the windows icon on your keyboard for most people uh, you can bring up the notifications by holding that and then N at the same time and that time it went away quite nicely okay so what applications have we got installed uh, well there's not a lot when you first start to be honest under accessories you've got uh, the Jedit text editor calculator file manager uh, there's no games by default um, under graphics um, there's nothing uh, the internet is the next first one where you get something um, you'll see that I've got Steam installed there that doesn't come by default you have to install that via the package manager and we'll get onto that later on uh, you get Firefox uh, web browser you get Mozilla Thunderbird you get Hexchat which is the IRC chat client and you get a BitTorrent client um, it's worth noting that uh, transmission has been in the news <laughs> recently with the um, Apple Mac for um, the first bit of malware on the Apple Mac supposedly uh, under Office, you don't actually get a LibreOffice installed by default. Um, I've installed that separately, um, but there is a calendar application. Sound of Video, you get Rhythm Box and VLC Media Player. The other apps um, I've installed myself Mix is a DJ tool, OBS, and Simple Screen Recorder allow you to record screencast videos. Okay, so what I want to talk about is the package manager because this is where I think Solus is let down. There isn't much available. For instance, let's search for Eclipse, which is a fairly standard um, IDE for Java programmers. No results, nothing. Uh, what about NetBeans? Nothing. Uh, what about Chrome? Nothing. Chromium? Nothing. And this is pretty much the, t the tale of Solus. That because it's an independent distribution, they haven't actually uh, packaged up that much software at this moment in time, and it, it feels a bit empty, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, another one is Wine. That is there, as you can see. But yeah. play on Linux isn't there? I mean. For me, Play on Linux is a great front end to Wine. It should be in, it should be available. Um, so, one thing that is there is Steam. <laughs> great, you might think. But watch this.
So as you can see, it's unpacking the steam one time. I've done this many times before, and watch what happens. It's kind of that. There you go. Fatal error. Failed to load Steam UI. So, okay. So you don't just say that and not investigate what the problem is. So we'll, we'll go onto the Solus website, which is quite nice, by the way. But we'll Google the error. Uh, I've done this before. Solus, Steam not working. And as you see, Steam now available in Solus. There's a Solus project forums. And it says many things about Steam being available. What it does say is that if you get the error, the Steam UI error, run a command from the command prompt except it doesn't work I've tried it, it doesn't work and as you see the last person that commented on this forum said the same thing you, Steam doesn't work for everyone and for me I mean I don't always use Steam but there just isn't enough software available on Solus OS to make it a viable option for me to use on a daily basis and pretty much that is all there is to the review. Um, before I go, I, I have ha encountered a few issues. Um, the, the package installer um, has hung. Um, uh, obviously had the the um, Steam error as well. I mean, performance-wise, it's great. I mean, I'll, sh I'll show you Libor. It's coming up. Don't let me down now. Uh, remember, I've got a video screencast application working, so it's it's going to be a little bit slower. It's fine. It's it's, it's, a, it's a good little distro in that respect. It just needs more packages, and it needs them quickly, because at the moment it's it's just about usable as long as you only want to use LibreOffice or GIMP or or Rhythmbox. Um, there's just not enough available. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, this is Gary Newell signing out. EverydayLinuxUser.com Thank you for watching.